Okay, so here's a little help on this section here. Um, I don't want to take too much of your time, but find the diameter and radius of this circle. So diameter is all the way across. So you got to find from here all the way across to there. You could likewise count from here to here as well. So we just count these squares, one, two, three, four. Ta-da, diameter is four. Oops, I gave you the answer. That's okay. The radius would be half that amount. So from the middle to the edge, this is a radius. So four divided by two or half of four is two. So the radius would be two. Okay, so when we solve these questions, I already did this example for you. Let's go down to this one here. When you're doing circumference is pi times diameter. Pi times diameter. Pi is 3.14. What is the diameter? Well, it only shows you uh, two. It shows you the radius. So in order to get the diameter, you have to go all the way across. So all the way across is two plus two would be four. So 3.14 times four. So you put that in your calculator, you're going to get the answer, and you put that answer into the response there. So going back to this one up here, this one shows you um, is pi d, d again, all the way across would be five plus five would be 10. So our diameter is 10, and oops, pi is 3.14 times 10 would be 31.4. Okay, again, this one here already shows you the diameter, so you just saw 3.14 times 3, because circumference is pi times d, and d is 3. So 3.14 times 3, you get that? Put it down. So for these questions, they're going to go pretty quick. What I want you to do is I still you want you to write down the formula every time, pi d. So you get used to doing it, 3.14 times 5. Dot is another way to write times. So you're going to solve that, put it in your calculator, put it down. See, they go pretty quick. Circumference is pi d. Circumference equals 3.14 times. Another way to write times is with brackets. Nope, it's not 4. d is all the way across. should be 8. And that is how to do those questions.